Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl and I have my cute little assistant Cameron here today. He's home for the summer and I'm sorry I did not get a lot of videos up this week. We've been working on a lot of customs and I am doing a custom project for a customer which I figured would be a fun tutorial. So I, my customer brought in these beach towels that she ordered on amazon.com they're 100 percent cotton and they are 30 inches by 60 inches and we're going to put heat transfer on so what you're going to need for this project is your beach towel i have my 15 inch by 24 inch steady betty which as you know i use it all the time teflon sheet my 15 inch t-shirt guide because that is the width of my steady buddy my printed decal this is on caesar color print this is printed on our roland eco solvent printer this is not something you can print at home but they wanted a printer, printed decal so you can take and use just regular caesar easy weed uh, my extra clear to mask over the transfer my squeegee and then my Cricut Easy Press, which as you can see, let's see if it'll focus on the frame. It is set on 330 degrees for 15 seconds. Now give me a second and we're gonna go ahead and change the angle so we can go over how to do this. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, first thing we're gonna do here, let's move, hold that for me, Bubba. Is I'm going to lay out my, hold on, let's, there we go. So now I have my piece of Caesar Easy Weed laid out. I'm going to take the clear carrier sheet and cover it completely and use my squeegee to go ahead and squeegee the clear transfer tape, which is the leftover from your regular easy weed. Waste not, want not. I am a big fan of not wasting. So now I'm going to remove that frosted clear backing, going slowly as you can see to make sure my design stays stuck. And these are for a select baseball team, if you're wondering. So now go ahead and hold that. Okay, here, hold this for a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my towel on to my easy, on to my steady buddy. where we are equal so as you can see i've got one two three four that's got three on that side one two three so now we have three stripes off on either side that's the good thing about a striped towel is you can see that we are there we go three full, three full, and a part of another one. So that way we can make sure we are centered. And it's not an exact science, as you can see when I fold it over though, everything's nice and straight. And we're keeping the decal down onto the side where the tag is so it doesn't get in the way. So as you can see, I'm using my steady, my t-shirt alignment guide, and I'm lining that up where it is centered across my board, because the board, as I said, is 15 inches. Now with my decal, I'm going to take and fold that in half, and make myself a center mark. And we are going to line that center mark up right here on the center mark on our guide. And as you can see, you can take and feel that there are two fingers from where the tail ends on the fish and the tail ends on the name underneath. 
So there we go. Now we're going to take and cover it with our Teflon sheet and we are going to press this in stages. And you don't have to worry about this melting. This is 100% cotton for the beach towel. So you're good for that. So as you can see, I'm pressing the first half for the full 15 seconds. Now I'm going to move over and do the second half. And I am applying a little bit of weight behind this because this, the Cricut Easy Press is great for adhering to surfaces like well, anything, but for something that is so textured, we want to make sure that it has enough pressure. So as you can see, we are removing that. And if you can tell, you can see the texture of the towel through. Now on a project like this, I do like to use a more solid piece. It has more area to adhere. So where those loops are, it won't come loose. So now I'm going to go ahead and press again for another 15 seconds. There we go. And we're going to move it over and press the other part for another 15 seconds. And it's almost done. Okay, go ahead and turn that off. Now give me a second. I'll go ahead and adjust the camera. Okay. So as you can see, you can see the texture of the towel through the letters. That's how you know it's adhered. As you can see, I'm running my hands across it. It is not going anywhere. So that is good and adhered and it's going to stay. So that is a super easy project to do and it looks absolutely adorable. Now I have a couple of things. We received, I received my scrap box, the original scrap box, which is the Workbox 3.0. I got it in on Monday and we are putting the thing together. So I need to know if y'all want a video over putting it together because if you do, it's gonna take a while to finish filming and editing it because it is a monster piece of furniture. Or if you just want to see once it's put together how much stuff it will hold, that type of thing. So just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm willing to do either or. I'm going to do the tutorial for the Patreon kit on, it'll be posted on Monday, um, which is a super duper cute design. And there are a lot of SVGs on my Patreon page if you're a $4 or more a month subscriber of Disney SVGs and I'm adding more daily. As you know, we are going to Disney. <laughs> for Christmas, as you can tell, this little one's excited about it. What are you most excited for? Uh, probably the Ohana breakfast. He loves Ohana breakfast. And we are going to do a video on my second channel over the planning, the cost, all those types of things over our Disney trip for our personal experience. So check out my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. If you're interested in that, that will be up today as well. Um... Now that I am getting caught up on all these custom jobs, hopefully I will be able to get my video schedule back to normal. It's been kind of crazy and I definitely appreciate y'all sticking around and watching and everything like that. Um, there is a video and I will try to link it down below for the July scrap box. Um, if you comment on the June scrap box drawing, if you comment on that video, you are automatically entered into the July scrap box as long as you're subscribed. And we also do a Patreon only scrap box, which is if you pledge a dollar a month or more, you're entered into that. And right now there's like 109 people in it. So your chances of winning that are pretty great. And it's just as big as the regular scrap box. Um, so I think that's it. Don't forget to check me out on where's, what's my social medias? Uh, Snapchat, Facebook, 
Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram. Which ones do I use most? Uh, Facebook. And what else? Instagram. Yep. So check us out on all that. Um, other than that, I guess that's it. So bye and have a great day. <laughs> Thanks and y'all have a great day. You're such a cute kid.